Wildlife photography is tough, but capturing wildlife on video, that's even harder. Topaz just released the newest program, Topaz Video AI, which is their newest solution addressing the common issues that filmmakers have. The program can upscale and enhance video all the way to 8K, create frames allowing for slower slow motion than what was captured, it can improve sharpness and details in your footage, remove noise and deblock, and even correct shaky footage. These are just a few of the main features that I use amongst many. Today, I'll be giving you a quick overview of the program while telling you about the pros and cons. And at the end, if you decide it's best for you to purchase, you can use my link in the description to receive over 50% off during launch. This sale will last only one more week, so if you're going to do it ever, now is definitely the time with the price. When you get into the program, you'll see a couple of different options off to the side. So you can see starting off to the side over here, you have your inputs, and then you have below that your stabilization. So if you want to stabilize really shaky footage, or maybe you shot it handheld at a far focal length or whatever it may be, you can stabilize it, adjust the strength, you can choose to correct even for rolling shutter or reduce jittery motions in particular. So stabilization is pretty straightforward, but really good, and they do a really good job of it in this program with understanding it from an AI standpoint. And then next below that you have frame interpolation and frame interpolation is um, how you can essentially slow motion footage and create frames that didn't exist there before. And it does a fantastic job of doing this in Topaz Photo AI, let me tell you guys. So you can slow motion it up to 16 times slower than what your frames are actually shot at. And so it does a great job of just creating those frames in between things and understanding what frames to create according to what was analyzed before that frame and what was analyzed afterwards. And it creates that slow motion frame for you in a way that you could never capture on most of the gear that we own. There's different AI models for how you can do that as well. And below that you'll see enhancement. So this is kind of like the the topaz that we're familiar with from a photography standpoint, right? So you can choose um, to fine tune enhance it, denoise sharpen it, you can upscale it, details, fidelity. There's a bunch of different options there that you have on your AI model in terms of how you can enhance the kind of the look of your image. And then finally you have grain as well at the bottom if you want to add back in some grain to give it kind of a cinematic effect. Overall you have those four main functions and then you can choose your output settings. You have an encoder, a container, bitrate, and audio settings. And then after that, you'll start exporting it and it'll translate your work. Now, let me show you two examples. This first clip is one I took here of a fox sparrow this last summer singing with his breath caught up in the morning air. Here in this video clip, I enhanced the image quality using Artemis to denoise and sharpen it very lightly from its original, along with using frame interpolation to slow it down to eight times slower than the original footage. You'll notice that the program does a phenomenal job of creating those frames frames in slow motion, specifically on the chest puffing in and out and the breath hanging in the air around him. And overall, it turned out really good and I was satisfied with the results. Now, it's a little tricky to show the upscaling because I shoot in 4K already, which is way higher of a resolution than you'll notice already on YouTube. However, in this clip of the black oyster catcher puffing up its feathers, I stabilized the footage, slowed it down to eight times slow motion, and this thing is pretty insane. It was shot handheld, so it was amazing how well the stabilization worked, and the feather detail felt totally retained during its feather shake. So what are the pros and cons? Well, let's start with the con. Really, the only con in my mind is that this program is extremely intensive on your computer. To give you an idea, the Fox Sparrow clip that you saw before lasts about 50 seconds in slow motion at 30 FPS, and it took me about two hours to export. This can be difficult to justify fitting into your workflow all the time and is more for specific use cases or very refined film work. However, if you can be patient with it and use it for those high-end projects, Topaz Video AI is absolutely amazing. It's allowing me to keep the audience focused on the main subject of each progression and sequence through cleaning up noise, stabilizing footage, upscaling resolution, and even creating a hyper slow motion image in order to extend my sequences. If you want to worry less about the technical limitations of telling a story and know that no matter what video footage you're capturing, you can correct it in post, I'd highly recommend purchasing Topaz Video AI. It's essentially the Topaz Photo AI that we have already fallen in love with this past month and just made for video work now. Again, if you do decide to purchase it, make sure you check out the link in my description below and 
use the promo code. That way you can receive $165 off only through next week during launch. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.